OMG, I finally know what to talk about. I mean, um, hi guys, what's up? Uh, Game Master Force State here. Uh, bringing the next part of my Stuart Level 2 walkthrough. And, uh, last time, I had no idea what to talk about. Because we were just doing the same thing over and over. And I, I was kind of lost for words and didn't know what to talk about. But now I do know what to talk about. And we'll be discussing it later on in this video. Won't that be fun? But first, we gotta, we gotta go over some things. Some things that I do need to explain. And that's important. And, cause that's what you do in walkthroughs. Cause it's kinda, that's kinda what you do in a walkthrough, you know? You kinda, you kinda talk about things. So, um... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, that was kinda, that was kinda weird. But anyway, um, like, look, just like usual, we're gonna be going up after the, uh, the minigame rings first. First we got the target practice minigame. I guess it's not target practice, but, uh, yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier than the, uh, first target minigame that we played in the, uh, upstairs level. Uh, we got some more, uh, targets to hit, and the bugs are also gonna be coming out a lot more often out of those tiny holes. Uh, if you don't remember how this minigame works, basically, you need to score 500 points before time runs out. When you hit things like the balloons, these dark yellow balloons will give you more time. Aw, oh, man. Uh, and some of the targets, like these things that are coming out of these trash cans, will give you extra points. It will give you way more points than you would normally get if you were, if you were just uh, hitting the balloons. The bugs will take away 50 points away from you if they hit you, so get rid of them before they get to you so that you don't lose points. And yeah, just score 500 points before time runs out. And this one's a little bit trickier because the bugs are going to be popping up way more often. So, yeah, look out for that. And, yeah, we only have 100 points left to go, so we're already almost done. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go, we're done. Way to go, Stuart. You managed to score enough points to be awarded a jeweled ring. Awesome, let's grab it. That nice. All right. Um. So that's the first mini game of this level. The second mini game is this. We got Stuart's car. It's a brand new mini game that we can do. Well, kinda. You'll you'll see when we get into it. But uh, what's up, Margolo? You have to use your car to go down this path, Stuart. It's far too dangerous on foot. Oh man, it's dangerous. Oh man. Oh man, I wonder what, what what's so dangerous about us walking over there. Oh man, we were. We're gonna see what, why we need to drive through here. Let's, let's check it out. Uh, oh. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, th this is super dangerous. I mean, can't, can't, you, can't you guys see? Like, look at all these, like, 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 volcanoes and earthquakes destroying the floor. Right? Clearly, that's, that's, clearly, this just, why is this dangerous? I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> I explained this in the first walkthrough too. It's just like what? Oh, it's far too dangerous to walk through here. Why? There's nothing here. It's a big empty gray abyss of nothing. Just why? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you couldn't tell by now, um, this mini game is basically just a reskin of the. Uh, the speedboat minigame from level 2, except for driving a car instead of a boat. Uh, it controls just like the boat does. You steer left and right for left analog stick, hold down X to go forward and square unless you break in reverse. And just like the speedboat, the steering controls are really, really stiff. So keep that in mind. You want to collect the clocks in order to um, get some more time. And you want to complete four laps toward the a tour before time runs out and we're already about to uh, beat this mini game we're on the final lap right now and we should be getting to the finish line any second now there it is and we did it fantastic driving Stuart you're in pole position for sure you've been awarded a jeweled ring go and collect it all right thanks Margola let's grab that yeah that's, that's one more win for the good cats uh 
Stuart, you weird, overly excited mouse, you. <laughs> Alright, so the next ring we're going to be going after is the Golden Suitcase Ring. We're going to go after that right now. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll start talking about the thing that I wanted to talk about. It might be semi-old news by the time this video gets uploaded. But you know what? I, I, I was super excited when I uh, found out about this. So I'm just going to talk about it anyway. I don't care if, it's, if, it, if it gets if it becomes old news by the time I uh, bring this up. Deal with it, alright? Uh, we're almost at the uh, golden key. Whoopsie daisy. We're almost at the golden key, so that's why I'm quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright. So go over here and go down the zip line. Whoa, dear. And there's the golden key. Yeah, I found the golden key. That's and great, Stuart. It's not exciting anymore. Shut up. So now we got the golden key. We need to go over here and get the golden suitcase. And voila, we got it. I was expecting Stort to be like, Oh yeah, I need one more jewelry to get to the new level, man. Ugh. I don't know why I made him sound like a surfer dude or whatever all of a sudden. That's really weird. But, um, anyway. So next we need to get the face blocks. Um, get six in order to get to the left, to the ring, blah, blah, blah. You know how this goes by now. Um, so the thing I wanted to talk about. Um, so, PlayStation 4. As you know, uh, well, you might not know, actually. Uh, but basically, uh, I don't have a PlayStation 4. Why is that? Because there's not really any games for it that I, uh, want. I mean, there's a few, but not enough to warrant me, like, purchasing a $400 console. Um, I mean, th there's games for it, there's just not games that I'm particularly interested in. Uh, I mean, I, like, I don't really care about, like, Call of Duty or any of those stupid shooter games. Oops. Yeah, there's that goop that you fall in and, uh, and Marco will have to pull you out and all that stuff. Um, go away. Um, yeah, so I haven't really gotten a PlayStation 4, um, but I would have gotten one a lot sooner if there was backwards compatibility. That would be cool, right? But guess what? Sony was like, oh, uh, we won't move forward because who needs backwards compatibility? No one likes these old games anymore. Uh, okay, they, were, they didn't say it like that, but y you know what I mean. Uh, they basically said no to backwards compatibility for whatever reason. And it was really, really dumb. Uh, and yeah, but recently they announced, well, it won't be so recent anymore when I uh, upload this, but somewhat recently... <laughs> Um, oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me again, <laughs> um, they announced that they're gonna have PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 4, which is awesome, because PS2 is like my childhood, man, I grew up with that console, it's like the first console I've ever played as a kid, yeah, found the face block, that was like, that was, that was my system, man, that was a PS2 kid back in the day. Awesome. I love the heck out of that system. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to play PlayStation 2 games on that system at some point. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know if they will eventually extend that to, um, being able to play PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 3 games later on. Um, but if they do, that's even more reason for, for me to get it. Because then I can play all my old stuff and I won't have to keep stacking up all of my old consoles, because, I mean, like, yeah, but, like, I can only carry so many consoles and plug so many consoles into my TV at once, like, and I, I, I kind of need to do, I, I kind of need more space, man, so, yeah, <laughs> um, so that's kind of cool, uh, that got me, uh, pretty excited, and, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I'm pretty pumped for it. I'm glad that they did that. Uh, and it would be even cooler if they did extend that to the uh, other PlayStation consoles, but you know what, whatever. It's, it's nice that there's at least backwards compatibility for something. So that's pretty good. How are we doing on the uh, fish crackers? Getting pretty close.
We're not quite there yet. Grab that. This is the face block number five. Awesome. So we need one more and I know exactly where it is. Alright. Let me go over here. See, so yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool to hear. It's also kind of funny considering how they were like completely against backwards compatibility, uh, like earlier on. Like right with the. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um. When Microsoft was like, oh, we got backwards compatibility, you can play your Xbox 360 games. And then when so and then they were like, hey, you want to do backwards compatibility with Sony? And Sony's like, nah, nah, we need to, we need to look forward to the future, man. We can't, we can't hang in the past. All right, we can't, we can't be doing that. Just, uh, yeah, sure, okay. It, it, that, that was like super stupid. Uh, that was the last face block, and the uh, face block platform that we need to get onto is right in here. And we're almost at all 60 fish crackers. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of that? I think it's pretty exciting. And it also gives me some of a reason to get a PS4 now. If that's the case. Um, yeah, I still don't know when. They haven't really announced when they're gonna do it. Or when they're gonna implement it into the PS4. But just knowing that they are, and, and at least working on it, it's uh, pretty awesome. And jeweled ring. Yes, jewel. Cool. You've collected another jeweled ring. Awesome. All right, so I think that just leaves. Yeah, that leaves the hidden jeweled ring. Um. So before we get that, I'm gonna go get the clapper board. Uh. So in this area, oh, we got all the fish crackers. Yes! Oh dear. Man, what an adventure this is turning out to be. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so the clapperboard is underneath the dumpster. You want to crawl under here. And got it. Way to go, Stuart. You've collected the clapperboard and unlocked the film clip in the gallery section. Awesome. Alright, so now we got that. We're going to go after the hidden jeweled ring. And it's up there in that air vent, so we need to climb up there. So let's go over here. But do all right. Let's watch out for these uh, the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. They're in my eyes. They're in my eyes. Ah! All right. Anyway, hit that button. <laughs> all right, and that will open up the air vent, letting us go in, which will what? Which will allow us to go inside. Alright. Kill that spider and got it. Oh, got it. <laughs> I found a hidden jeweled ring. All this exploring sure is hard work. But hey, I really need to find one more piece of jewelry to open the next level. A cool uh, thing I found out about recently. Um, you probably noticed all throughout this walkthrough. If you fall from a really high place, Stuart will do this. He'll just kind of hang there on the ground for a while. Uh, that's usually not very good because that leaves you open for attacks. But I found out that if you do a spin attack right when right when Stork does that, you can completely uh, interrupt that whole "Oh, I fell down to the long fall" sequence, and you can just get right back up. So that's pretty cool. So if you don't want to get uh, hit by attacks, just do that right as you uh, get done with a long fall, and you won't fall down a long distance. So that's pretty cool. And here's the last jeweled ring of the level. Congratulations, Stuart. You've collected enough jewelry to enter the next level. Cool. Awesome. And am I missing some fishy crackers? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, it's okay. I found them, so it's cool. <laughs> All right, let's grab the last of these, and then we'll be done with this level. I'm also about to die, so I should probably get some health. All right, got it. Go, Stuart. You've completed the level 100%. You'll have to visit Snowbell and explore more levels to continue the good fight. Sweetness. All right, here's some ice cream. And we can get to replenish our health. Oh, come on. One ice cream cone. Boo. Flame. Oh, well, we're done with this level. 
And we did it in about 15 minutes, so that's pretty cool. Yes, Stuart, yes you do. Save our game, and let's end this level. Boom. Alright, so we're gonna skip the movie clip as usual, and we're done with this video. So, in the next video, as soon as this loads, we'll be doing the final main level of the game, the Garbage Barge. It's the last level of the game where you need to collect jeweled rings and all that. After this, we'll be ready for the final battle of the game. So see you in the next video where we'll be doing the level Garbage Barge. See you then, everyone.